Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 on Nintendo Switch. We're continuing on with the main story mode, so thank you guys so much for watching. And, of course, thanks for supporting the previous eight episodes, you guys are amazing. So if you guys want to keep on seeing this series go, let's do it, let's do it. Alright, so we're looking for Nia, right? And uh, we need to just talk to a bunch of people and uh, see exactly where we can find her. Uh, taking a look at the overworld map, um, I'm honestly not sure where we're going to find all these people with clues, but if we keep on following the little marker up on the top of the screen over there, I'm pretty sure we'll come across someone. Alright. Dude, are these all the same NPC? This is the guy on the previous thumbnail, and I walked past two of them. Alright, well I don't know. I'm kind of getting on like a Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon vibe, where all the NPCs are the exact same design, but maybe not. All right, so I need to take a look. I need to, yeah, we need to really look. Okay, so there's obviously something over here, right? I don't even know if it's up top. Really? This is how I get up there? No, there's gotta be another way. I don't know what that red thing on the map is, but I'm in the chief's residence, okay. Oh, here we go, Edgar. No, I don't need to talk to Edgar. Ah, well, what do we have here? Been a while since I last saw Drivers and Blades, who aren't in the Imperial Armor Army. I'll give you a free tip for free. Uh, the Driver's Element is determined by the blade that they happen to be using. So if you're using a Wind Element Blade... Dude, come on, we already know this. No, nah, man, forget this, Rex. Be polite and say thank you, I guess. Alright, so here we go. There's someone named Maui. Oh. <sighs> hey, Maui. Have you heard anything about a girl called Nia who was captured by the Ardinians recently? Oh yeah, I heard something interesting. Apparently, the Torna member that the Ardenian Empire captured was some Gormani girl called Nia. Nia. That name seems familiar somehow. Didn't the old Lord of Etchel, a decade or so, have... Actually, let's not talk about that. It's happy not to think about. Huh, thanks so much. Name of a Tornin. Okay. Great. So there's something... 46... And arrived. Away. I'm like, like <laughs> obviously there's something All inside in this piece. place, right? Okay, there you go. I see the person. Got it. So we took a little shortcut up. That's fine. Here we go. Sulia. Hey, Sulia. Wait, what? Sulia's in a wall? Oh my gosh, I didn't even see they're blending in, little one. Huh. <laughs> Have you heard anything about a girl uh, named Nia? Forget about that. Did you know this? Apparently, whenever a blue new blade is born, it has to be registered with the Praetorium of Indol. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah, so I bet that guy who just scouted to be a driver will have to get there sooner or later. When I grow up, I want to become a driver and visit Indol too. Okay, thanks, you dumb kid. Uh, yeah, thanks for the info. Not. Okay, so there are four more people that we have to talk to, and then once we're done with that, we can go see what's going on. Maybe we get to get another sneak peek at Bridget again. I really like Bridget, she was awesome. Although, I'm waiting for her to open up her eyes. It's like one of those cliffhanger things. <laughs> it's like when you watch Pokemon Season 1, you see Brock, and you're like, oh, is he ever going to open his eyes? Uh, did Rex Rex know? They were recruiting over there for new drivers. Yeah, I saw that earlier when we first arrived in the city. Rex Rex should try too. Chance of success, basically 100. Alright, want, I'm wanted by the Ardenian Empire right now, remember? It seems like a bad idea to make myself conspicuous. Rex Rex to make a good point. Tora was just too curious to see what kind of blade Rex Rex awakened. At any rate, I don't need to awaken a blade, do I? I already got Pyra. Come now, Rex, don't tell me you thought drivers could only bond with a single blade. What? Is that not right? Not at all, many drivers have more than one. With Neogon, we're a bit short on numbers right now. We might not hold up all that well in a fight. Perhaps it would actually be a good idea to get uh, get out and get yourself a new blade. A new blade opens up new possibilities in battle after all. Hmm. It would stop you from uh, putting up so much strain on Pyra as well. Seems like a good thing all around, if you ask me. Well, if Pyra doesn't mind, I guess I couldn't hurt to try. I don't have any objections. The more the merrier. Well, then it's settled. The question is, where are we going to find ourselves a core crystal? Now, that's one question I can answer. I just so happen to have once stored away for such an equation. Where Gramps hide core crystal with such small body? The key to awakening a new blade is to foster a powerful resonance with the driver's spirit. Focus your whole mind on the core crystal as you touch it. And try to hold a clear picture in your mind of the blade you wish to awaken. 
I'm not sure if I really understand, but I'll give it a try. I hope you awaken a wonderful blade. Okay. So, are we gonna do that right now? Uh, okay, Rex. Unnamed Core Crystal. Oh, it's like a gotcha! It's like a gotcha machine. Alright, let's turn the crank, Akai. Let's see if we get something good. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, cross our fingers. Let's get a rare blade. Although my heart will always be with Pyra. Generic NPC blade that shoots stuff and they come back. All right. I am sworn to protect you. Muso. Roll healer. All right. Driver primitive knuckles. Okay, flying knuckle special. Launch your knuckle claws at uh, missiles to attack the enemy. Assault rush. Charge forward in an instant. Uh, drive kick, rush in at high speed, the combination of kicks and punches. Okay. Debuff cancel, cancels debuffs. Resist electric. Okay, that's cool. Wind mastery, the power of a wind blade. All right. So he's wind elemental. That's perfectly fine. Okay, great. You can bond with the blade at any time go by going to main menu blades, bond blade. Core crystals. Aren't much use lying around, so it doesn't it can't hurt to resonate with them and see what you get. Also, there's a higher driver luck stat value, the better the chances of awakening certain very special blade. Once you have yourself a new blade, you'll need to engage it so that can take it part in battle. Main menu, characters, character setup, engage blades. Up until now, Rex has only had to rely on Pyro alone for support in battle. But now you'll be able to engage in a variety of other blades and expand your support options. To take advantage of uh, different blades in battle, press the directional pad corresponding to each blade face icon on the blade switch. In no time at all, the blade, who was previously supporting you, will retreat, and the new blade will take their place on the battlefield. Of course, switching blades will change both of your weapon and your available arts. Different weapons have different benefits and drawbacks in battle, so use the blade switches tactically and consider it. Okay, that looks like a good one. Meh, meh. Uh, Fur always stand on end when Tora see Driver resonate with Crystal. So cool. Hey, don't look at me like you're making me feel weird. All right. Uh, well, looks like we got a new recruit anyway. Let's go find out what happened to Neo. Rex, not so fast. Huh? What's up? Are you gonna? Are you going to kit your new blade out? Uh, you can tune up the weapon with a core chip from that smithy. Thing. Rex, Rex never used core chip before. Then now's a good time to start. Okay. Tell the difference between a user who uses that. Okay, I'm starting to understand. Now for the main topic. Okay, that's an auxiliary core shop. I don't suppose you have a, a lot of call to go in there before you became a driver. Oh, you're right about that. I used to wonder what all that strange gear was for, though. Perhaps we should head over and give it a try. All right, so auxiliary cores are just the thing to supplementing the blade's power. There are different types. Some boost defense, make strong against insects, and stronger nighttime meh. Uh, the number of aux cores you can equip varies from blade to blade. Interesting stuff. Now then, here's the important part. Usually, when you get an aux core, it's an empty state. You won't boost your blade with it empty. So how do you fix that? Huh, I see. So this gizmo here makes aux cores uh, usable. You catch on fast. That's right. This machine takes the collectibles and raw auxiliary cords, or cores, and uh, refines them into something useful. Here's one you can have to go with. I've been saving it for every occasion. Okay, critical up two. That's not to think about where you stash it. Huh. Tora's right about that. It's not much good without collectibles, though. Here. Gearwood. Okay, you have a lot stashed away in there. You're good to go, Rex. Refine it. Alright, got it. As soon as we're done here, let's go and look up for some info on Nia. That's a lot to ingest right there, okay? So if you guys have never played a game like this before, alright, cool. Let's figure it out. So we've got the boost of the crit rate. Uh, what's the point of doing this stuff? These parts and whatnot. So you just need materials for it? Like, what's the point? Are there differences in materials? I just need generic eight of them. So if we got, if we need generic eight of them, then I'm just gonna do some fancy bolts. Uh, we're gonna do some gray springs. We got some of this stuff, and uh, we'll call it a day. So we're gonna get that big critical up, and we're going to refine it. 
So, okay, so if we have an auxiliary core, it needs some of the random materials that you find in the wild and every so on and so forth, and then it becomes a core. Okay, since you're standing in front of the auxiliary core shop, let's revisit the topic of the cores. All right, uh, you need collectible items, got it. Uh, you'll, once you have all the collectibles you need, you can go to the core to the refining. Watch out, the higher value of the auxiliary core, the more difficult it is to find all the necessary items, okay. As uh, soon you'll be able to refine auxiliary cores, as soon as you get them, you'll always need to be in the lookout for collection points. All right, main menu, characters, blade set of auxiliary cores. Oh my gosh. Can you like walk me through the menus instead of saying go to characters, go to this, go to this, and then like the next two sentences you say, okay, well go to this area, this, and then this. And then a little bit later on you say go to this, and this, and this, this. Come on, man. Like the tutorials are cool and all. But let's figure this out. Um, I, I don't even know how to even equip this stuff. Um, engage blades. Uh, set the blades you want to travel with. So, oh yeah, here we go. Engage blades. And this one's going to be uh, Muso. That's very kind of you. All right. I can't tell if that's... Um, all right, anyway. So now that we got Muso, that's awesome. I'm going to travel with him. My affinity, affinity chart is still at 317. Uh, my skill points are in pretty low, so we haven't been doing too much grinding. All right, so now that we've got Muso on board, weapon modification. Uh, I'm going to give him the Fang Chip. Makes sense. Okay, and you got Primitive Knuckles. Now you got Knuckles of the Crow. Pretty great. All right, so now we did that. Uh, affinity chart, we could check on his growth. He doesn't have anything yet, so that's fine. He does a uh, reducing of electrical type, and this is auxiliary cores. All right, so we're gonna power you up with crit up. And that's a 3% boost, I guess that's cool. But hey, the fact that we can do it, go for it, right? Muso. All right, that's pretty fun. And how does one gain even more auxiliary cores? Oh, you got two slots? Oh man, neat, oh, dude, you're good. Like, Pyra. I'm telling you, that's it. Just me and Pyra, that's all I need. All right, give me some more auxiliary cores. I don't need to upgrade them, I wanna buy them. What's the deal? You got some auxiliary cores? Inherited core crystal, 500K? Are you crazy? All right, remind me to come back here because this is a three rarity for half a million gold. Man, oh dude, that's a lot of money. That's some end game stuff right there. All right, all right, all right. Let's go find Nia. Nia's getting, like, kicked to the curb. She's just like, hey, let's do this. Let's go find Nia. Uh, well, don't you want to learn more about this? Uh, let's go find Nia. <laughs> Dude, now I'm going backwards, like, away from where we need to go. So, I think... Yeah, I totally went backwards. Forget it. Well, that's pretty cool. Now that we got auxiliary cores, we can uh, switch them on the fly in battle. So, if I ever... I've got to pay attention to that. And in the battle against Brigid, I should have easily just swapped it up. Like, I should have been attacking the other person because Brigid was weak against fire or something like that. All right, so there's one person right next to me. Okay, you. Sigal. Have you heard about Nia? Who are you people? Uh, maybe, it wasn't, maybe it wasn't a good idea to ask the soldier. Uh, there was something I wanted to ask, but now I've clearly forgotten what it was. Uh, if it's information you're after, go pay for it at a local informant. Chatting with... Uh, the populace isn't your job, isn't our job. Okay, well, he wasn't that helpful. All right, so in about 12 steps from here, we got one more person. Wasn't there? Okay, I'm going the obvious wrong way. Oh, you're right here, Sane. Dude, you little kid, you're right underneath me. Have you heard anything about a girl called Nia who was captured? Uh, I don't know anything about that. Uh, but the grown-ups do seem talking uh, secretly complicated stuff lately. Apparently there's some kind of dangerous people causing trouble. It's only been 10 years uh, since the war between Mor Ardain and Uriah ended. Why would they stir up more trouble? It sounds like a real pain, but I hope Ardanian soldiers will, will be able to protect us. All right, so, oh, we got a level eight what? Monster? Wait, hold on, what? Level eight what? A main driver? You want to fight? Okay, time to take you down. That's it, that for me. It's Get okay. Jesus. Thanks for that. Our emotions are in tune, Rex. Yeah, my Get face is exactly. 
Anchor shot. Ha! What is going on? Am I gonna win this or what? No effect. Rush down. Why not? Sword bash. Let's keep this up ah, and you'll win it. for sure. My thoughts exactly. Double what would you spinning have to do? edge. As you hit wish. it, no. I don't know if I'm gonna win this one. Nova. You cheaters! Why not? Now yeah. let's show them what we're really made. I'm not used to his attacks yeah. anymore. I'm used no to the little uh, Neo. Now. Why not? I'm getting all these attacks wrong. That's it, that for me. Yeah. Evasion? What is this? Yeah. So bash. No effect. Rush down, Anchor Rex. Do you need a rest? Nah. I do need a rest. Damn it! Why not? Why not? I'm gonna lose against this guy. No effect. I'm all out of juice. I don't know, man. I can't beat him solo. <laughs> but hey, you know what? There's no point in trying. Or there's no loss in trying. And that's what I love about this game. You just try to beat him up, and if you lose, Big deal, you'll get stronger, you come back for it. It's fine, we'll get them yet. See, that's right. Don't push yourself too hard. I'm like, what's this level eight guy? You know what, I think if I nailed all the timing on my attacks, I could probably get him. And you know what I'm also sitting on right now? I'm sitting on a lot of experience. Huh. So I gotta find, oh my gosh, I gotta find where the inn is. Where, why am I going here? What the heck? Oh my gosh. So you don't, like, you don't die. You just swim in the clouds. You don't fall all the way down? Like, how is that? But okay, just in case you do fall off, there is another area right over here. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, uh, I miss the tiger. I do miss, uh, whatever the tiger's name is. It's pretty cool. Switch blade. Oh, you can just like switch on the fly, huh? Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, you got a quest over here, huh? All right, cool. Let's do a quest. So you did this. You're the one that broke the crane. Uh, no. Oh, you didn't do it. Well, gee, sorry about the accusation. Something wrong? Yeah. Uh, okay. Something about that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. So what should we do? All right. We're gonna help. Just let me accept the quest. And I hope you guys don't mind if I just skip this dialogue. All right, so, yes. The case of the crane. Received. We might get something good. But I want to go find Nia. You know what I mean? Like, okay, well, I got to go talk to two people of the crane. We're going to go through the dialogue. Pedal, what do you know about the crane? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep. Crane criminals, okay. Okay, so I gotta talk to you again. Uh, oh, okay, so I gotta catch some criminals of sorts. Or look for the criminals that may be around here. Wait, what? 200 meters away? All right, well, I think we're going the wrong way. Uh, I like, I like you better. Is there anyone here? Was there something on the ground? No, it's just you to talk to. Side quest, side questing. All right, so we're gonna go, we're not gonna worry about Nia because we got sidetracked, of course. But hey, you know what? That's cool, that's part of the game. You can take the game at your leisure and you don't even have to worry about doing the side quest or doing the main quest. Whatever you wanna do, you're done. Okay, do I gotta talk to Madi? No, I don't have to talk to Madi. There's just so many of the um, exclamation marks above your head that it's hard to focus on one and start heading towards that direction. Or what I guess you could do is you can open up, right? Can you open up this map and see who you're aiming for? Like this way, and then you go over here, and then there's a dude over there. Do I have to go in the house? You saw a fish. I don't think I can open the door. Sulia? 
Dude, that's not annoying at all. But I guess if you're taking your time, you'll find stuff, right? 21 feet away. 15 feet. There's just so much. I think I have to go get Sulia. When did it get so late? I don't oh. know. And I've started glowing. I'm a bit self-conscious. <laughs> All right, forget it. I may abandon this because I, for one, did oh. not explore this town fully. And I honestly don't know how to get to different areas within the town. Like, I can jump over here. Like, what's the point of this? Oh. Okay, you know what? Forget it, side quest. How do I abandon it? Quest log. Race to find Nia, case the crane, crane criminals. All right, we're gonna go back to race to find Nia. I'm, I'm done with that. I mean, maybe I can do that, but like, I'm not gonna go on this let's play and we're not gonna do every single little quest. That doesn't make any sense to do. But you guys feel free to do it, you know what I mean? All right, so 19 away. It's too many. Twenty feet away, nineteen feet away. It's like I'm playing hot and cold here. Open up. Ancient writing failed. Oh, so that's a field thing. Okay, well, I guess I'm not smart enough to read. <laughs> but don't worry, you'll become smart enough in due time. So it's probably something like above, like some person. Oh, you, you little turd. Come here. Uh, have you heard anything about Nia? Uh, you know, okay. I can't afford information without compensation. What? 3,000 bucks? Okay, inside Titan Battleship, Gormati Girl being held prisoner. Okay, unfortunately, not received the intelligence specifying the prisoner name. Big rumors say um, that the big ship arrived for sole purpose of hiding one measly girl. People of Gormat getting along quite well with the Empire nowadays, so trouble like is not very welcome. Okay, so that's all he knows. That was really good. So now that we know, she's, um, it costed us 3,000 bucks but that's okay. So now we need to find one more person. And there's another quest that we can accept. Oh, goody. Okay, last person. And I wanna say it's this way. Let's look at the map. Who could it be in this general direction? Looks like there's a, oh, there's a, a fishing spot. Did I pass them? I'm just watching these numbers dwindle and then they just go up. Like, what's the deal? Whoa! Oh, yeah, that's the monster that we're on. Okay. I gotta find a way of getting up there. That's where that person is. I can't get any lower than 19 wherever I go. So what? Return to Tora's house. Oh, okay. Um, return to Tora's house. That's what I have to do. Okay, it's probably underneath us. That's why. Hello. Tora's house? Do I even remember how to get there? I know we went this way before, and we went across all these bridges and whatnot. So, I think Taurus House is directly underneath there. I have to find a way of going down the stairs or just jumping. Oh, Dude, this game is huge! Oh. oh my gosh, here we go. Residential zone, I think. Oh. 
I think this is where a treasure. What? You're all mine. Okay. Is this where his house is? Dude, this man. I'm telling you guys, this game is so huge. I'm even having a hard time. Oh, dude, there's a quest over here. All right, Taiwana, tell me it's an easy quest. Okay, something wrong. Uh, yes, fruit pie. All right, so you want to do some cooking? Sure. Oh, uh, blowing your trumpet, need a pie. I got a cook right next to me that can do some cooking. Fresh and fruity quest. I think I'm getting too sidetracked. No, I don't want to activate that. What do you want? I did that. Pick up some Hustle Hyacinth in Gourmand. Four out of four, done. Oh, what is the next objective? Catch some fish? Dude, I don't have time for that. I want to advance the story, man. All right, here we go. We're going to go... Uh, um, category? Main story quests. All right, whatever. We're going to try to go back to what's-his-name's house and then finish this off. Oh my gosh, I'm in the same spot that I was just in. What the heck? Here we go. Uh, oh. This is your house. Okay, man, that's rough. Nia and Dromark executed. It doesn't bear thinking about. But getting aboard that warship will be no mean feat. We're going to need an ironclad plan. Army port is under heavy guard. I guess we'll just have to mount a full-on attack. No, Rex, we can't put everyone in danger. Right, sorry. There. This is one of the Grand Arbor's ruse, right? If this map is correct, it goes all the way from the key to the hull of the warship. It looks like some kind of cargo entrance. Could we sneak on that way? Oh, right. No one will spot us if we sneak in from below. Security light around this entrance. At night, not even workers here. Looks like this is our only option. Then it's a plan. <laughs> Tora? Tora have something to show you. All right, Tora. You gonna show us your blade that What's you got? This, then? Nobody ever see this before. Secret of Tora. An artificial blade. An artificial blade? I can't believe it. Tora have always wanted to be driver of blade. But Tora... Uh, Tora has no... Potential to awaken core crystal. How could you know that? Surely you just have to try and oh, you and did, die. didn't you? Yes, one year ago, Tora applied to drive a recruitment man. Oh dearie me! Oh Tora, you mean you? It was bad. Tora had nosebleed for three days. Just a nosebleed? What you mean, just? People die from loss of blood, you know. Yeah, but from a nosebleed. Anyway, moving on. For a near-death experience, you're awfully casual about this. Anyway, back to Tora's blade. When complete, even no potential Tora can be a driver. This is simply incredible. You built this blade from scratch, Tora? It was started by Grampy Pon and Dadapon. 
But Grampy Pon die, and Tora still not know where Dadapon go to. Oh. So Tora will finish Blade myself and become a driver like always wanted. Then Dadapon hear about Tora's success and come back home, yes? Oh, Tora. By the by, Tora, this blade, as far as I can see, it looks complete. What is there left to do? <laughs> All Tora have left to do is buy missing parts. But Tora have no money at all. Oh, really? Really? Nothing. At all? Not even one gold. So you're asking for a loan? Uh, not loan. <laughs> um, closer to generous donation. Just like a nopon? <laughs> Always shrewd when it comes to gold. But, but, but if Tora completes Artificial Blade, combat capabilities will be big help on mission. Well, yeah. If it works, you may have a point. So, how much exactly do you need? Oh, no more than 60,000 gold. 60,000? Do you want a kidney as well? Calm down, Rex. I think we owe Tora our help. If it's just money he needs, I may be able to assist. Assist? Yeah. How, How? exactly? Nothing illegal. I hope. <laughs> Don't even joke, Gramps. This is a natural crystal. It should fetch around 60,000. No way. We can't let you sell that. But... No, it wouldn't be right. That's it. I'm paying for the parts myself. Very admirable. Mama! Rex Rex is too generous. This blade of yours had better be seriously useful, though, Tora. Uh, leave that to Tora. Well, then, let's go, I guess. Yippee! Will they really be okay? I suppose they'll have to be. Uh, so what do you actually need to finish this artificial blade? Uh, one perfect range sensor and three bion connectors. I don't think I've ever heard of those. Perfect range sensor supplements the function of the eyes. Quite pricey item, but very important. And then the bion connectors? Uh, that have many uses, but mostly to prevent hat fall off. Uh, would an ordinary piece of string not suffice? <laughs> so where can we buy these items? Uh, Margia's odds and ends. Uh, just off the, to the left of entering Torgoth City. Okay. I'm sure he must have walked past that area before. All right, let's go. Where am I gonna get the money to get that stuff? What have we here? <laughs> Some wood, okay. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, I guess this is a good stopping point. We, uh, we found all the people that we needed to talk to in order to find out more information about Nia, which is super fun. And something's happening to her in the back. Okay, just calm down. <laughs> so, all right, next episode, what we're gonna do is we are going to scrape up 60,000 gold somehow. I have no idea. Uh, maybe start selling some stuff and we'll figure it out like we always do. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want the series to continue on my channel and you guys would like to see some more, then definitely smash the like button and share the video with a friend. We've got loads more happening on the channel. So I want you guys to watch all of the uploads. You can watch our Xenoblade Chronicles 2 playlist over here, newest video on the channel, and of course some recommendations that way. You guys can indeed click on right over that way to subscribe so you guys don't miss a latest upload of any type. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.